That's John Jones right there. That's heavyweight John Jones. On the monkey bars. Go, Pretty impressive. That's the easy part down. Considering how big he is now. Nice. Still has some tiny legs though. To heavyweight for quite a while, probably over a year. He says he plans on fighting next year, 2022. More than likely against Nganu, Francis Nganu, the current UFC World Heavyweight Champion. He is hitting the pads. Still looks pretty quick. For a heavyweight, that's, that's not bad. Definitely looking forward to the Francis Ngannou fight. Hopefully, the UFC is able to make that happen. A lot of the training footage he posts, a lot of it is him running on the treadmill at some pretty impressive speeds for his size. Definitely a lot of power behind those kicks. Even though he has a small leg. I guess he just has bad genetics when it comes to the legs. You see how much he weighs, you see how fast he's running. He only did it for about 10 seconds, but still pretty impressive. He actually utilizes these in his fights. the head movement as well. He's always been a very elusive fighter. You wouldn't imagine or predict getting hit with that elbow right there. But he would he would hit it. He would land it on you. Some more pad work. So excited to see him, you know, step up to that heavyweight division. Maybe his first fight won't be against Nganu. I would imagine that's the fight to make, though, for the most amount of money. Maybe he'll, you know, fight someone who isn't the champ, just to kind of see where he lies in the heavyweight division. And if he can e even fight those big guys, you know, I'm sure he can, but you never know until he gets in there. Definitely not rushing it though. I mean, he's taking his time to put on weight. He's taking his time to, you know, have a full transformation before he gets into the octagon against one of these big dudes, you know, and you have to respect that. I mean, you know, when he gets in there against a heavyweight, he's coming prepared. He didn't rush. I'm sure Francis is watching all of this as well on his social media. I'm sure he checks John Jones' Instagram to see what Jones is doing, how he's looking, training, preparing, because you know he's coming for you if you're Nanganu. You know John Jones is coming for you. And I think they also had John Jones as an underdog versus Nganu. So yeah, there you guys have it. John Jones preparing 
to move up to that heavyweight division. I can't wait to see what happens. We've been seeing him post so much training footage. We've seen his whole transformation. And as of right now, John Jones is pretty much in limbo. He said he's in no rush to return to the octagon. And in more recent times, him and the UFC have gone back and forth about fighter pay, of course, John Jones wants to get paid as much as possible. If he's going to move up and fight Francis Ngannou, it seems like the UFC doesn't really want to meet him in the middle. In April, he split with his longtime management firm. And one month later, he then hired a new advisor to lead his career. John Jones actually responded to two fans on social media just yesterday. Do you think getting bigger will hurt your cardio and speed, champ? It would definitely hurt my speed and cardio if I was to try and rush the process. Achieving greatness isn't something that's done overnight. It takes patience and consistency sometimes. Right now, my biggest fight is in the gym. Day by day, getting more gold will come later. Shut these people up, man. They want to see you lose so badly. Jones responded with, I know lots of them do. That's why I'm not going to allow anyone to rush me. Becoming a heavyweight champ is a serious process. Not many people understand what it takes to do it the right way. I'll be back when I'm good and ready. So yeah, as you can see, John Jones is in absolutely no rush. He's got plenty of money. He can chill out for a few years while he trains, bulks up weight. Maybe it's not the smartest thing to do for his career. You know, I don't know. Maybe being active and, you know, having your name out there is the better move in today's day and age. You know, maybe people will forget about him. I don't know. We'll see what happens when he fights Nganu. Hopefully the UFC you know, can even make that fight happen. Anyways, guys, that will do it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. You can find me on social media, the links to that. Anyways, guys, that will do it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please remember that you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already. You can find me on social media, the links to that will be down in the description. Other than that, guys, this is the MMA Connect. Peace out.